They call me Squirrel. What's going on, Squirrel Squad? It is your boy, the Squirrel. And you know, for a while, uh, people have been telling me, you really should check out Victoria Wood. And recently, I started checking out Victoria Wood. And um, she was uh, an amazing comedian, for sure. Uh, and, um, you know, I, I've heard all different things about her, about, you know, how she how seriously she took her craft, how great she was at her craft, how she was a shy person, or uh, just all different kinds of things. It's kind of cool how everybody kind of gives me their their insights into into anybody that I, I research in this channel. So I get a kind of a better idea of the person themselves, which is kind of cool. A lot of people ask me to do acorn antiques and uh, dinner ladies. Dinner ladies looks like it's probably a hard block. Nobody's ever reacted to it. I couldn't find one reaction. So I'm guessing it's a no. But um, I don't know. We'll see. Maybe I'll try it out. I absolutely despise daily motion. Just in case anybody didn't know that, I hate that site. Uh, I just had nothing but problems with it. Uh, for, for whatever reason now, I, unless, I guess I got to make a new account because anytime I try to post something over there, it makes me put a password on it. But I've talked to other reactors and they're like, no, it shouldn't have to do that. But uh, whatever. So um, we'll see. Down the road somewhere, somehow, I'd like to make that happen. But for now, let's check out the first episode, episode one of Acorn Antiques. Um, this one is very long, so I don't know if I got the right one, but hopefully I do. We'll find out. It's time. Episode one. Squirrel Man. And Squirrel Squad. And, uh, Acorn Antiques. Let's do it. Time for the first of our 12 visits to Acorn Antiques, Manchesterford's favorite antique shop. And after last Friday's exciting cliffhanger, let's see if they're any further on with mending that umbrella stand. <laughs> Here's your coffee, Miss Babs. What's wrong now? Oh, nothing. Just a rather mysterious phone call from the Far East. Well, sometimes that's God's way of telling you to think on and look sharp. You're right. God, I am awful. Here I am blabbing away about my own troubles and I forgot to ask you about your husband's car crash. Oh, he's dead, Miss Babs. <laughs> yes, in fact, I was going to ask you if I could have a couple of hours off on Thursday for the funeral. Of course. Just pop back at five for the hoovering. What happened? His heart stopped beating. <laughs> yes, well, sometimes that's God's way of telling you you're dead. <laughs> Never mind, it's bingo tonight. <laughs> Mr. Kane, you've not down yet? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's not like him. He's not having a nervous breakdown, is he? <laughs> to tell you the truth, Mrs. Overall, we had a huge row last night. He put the triplets in the woolsey and I haven't seen him since. Oh, men. Well, better get on and dust a few antiques. <laughs> well, they say things go in threes. Why? Whatever's happened now? You forgot my sweetener. <laughs> <laughs> I like how everyone's paused and then they start moving as if they're frozen. Uh, I think it's pretty ridiculous. My husband died. Can I get a couple hours off for the funeral? Be back by five for the vacuuming. <laughs> yes, just bring your antiques in. Bye. <laughs> well, part of the gimmick. Babs. <laughs> bored with Zurich? Or did Zurich get bored with you? You always did ask a good question. <laughs> but did I ever get a good answer? You look well. Answering the phone in the family antiques business seems to suit you. <laughs> Thank you, kind sir. Babs, can't we? We? Who's we, Clifford? There might have been a wee before you left me by the handbags in a well-known store. 
don't say any more. <laughs> I love you, Babs. I've changed, Clifford. I have triplets now. <laughs> There's something I haven't told you. I go bell ringing on Wednesday nights. <laughs> by victoria wood uh bell ringing is that like for the for alms for the poor is that what that uh, maybe it's different i don't know that's what bell ringing is over here you're ringing a bell collecting money especially around christmas time um she suddenly has triplets it's just happened but she's got triplets now it's okay uh i understand this is like kind of a spoof on uh daytime uh soap opera television and if that is uh in fact true they did a damn good job with it and that that kind of explains the long pauses before they start. And cause it's daytime. Like, I, I don't know how it is now. I can't believe it's even still on. Soap opera TV is still a thing, but it's always the worst acting. And it always starts out the scene. Then everybody starts moving and you definitely catch a lot of that. Like how hard is it to shave an extra half second off the edit so that people are already moving when the scene comes in? The hell do I know? Not much. Uh, <clears throat> this is going to be an interesting little ride. I can already tell. Interesting, um, confusing, funny, and uh, I'm looking forward to it. I, 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 I think there's 12, right? That's what they said in the beginning. So I'll do all 12 as long as they let me. By them, I mean they. By they, I mean, you know, people I'm not going to talk about. I'm not going to talk about them. So this is something that was written by Victoria Wood. I would imagine she shows up at some point. Maybe she doesn't. But uh, that was Acorn Antiques, my first role into it. I'm assuming it'll get better. I'm assuming I will start understanding a little better. And then I'm hoping that you are going to watch it with me. Thanks so much for being here. I appreciate all the Victoria Wood love that I've been getting on this channel from you folks. Um, and uh, I just wanted to uh, give this one a whirl and get it out. And uh, tell me what you think, all right? Be good. I'll catch you soon. Scroll out. Thank you.